Imagine you're a big U.S. drug company. You've been working on a new drug, a cure for the common cold. <coughs> it's going to be big business. And of course, you want to avoid big American taxes. Fortunately, you have a very large staff of very helpful accountants. Your accounting team has identified four strategies to reduce your taxes. Number one, we'll make your profits. Dutch. As soon as the drug is almost ready, you will license it to your Netherlands subsidiary. But why the Netherlands? The tax rate in the Netherlands is around 5%. The tax rate in the United States is 35%. Is that legal? Yes. Under United States law, you are supposed to charge your Netherlands subsidiary a fair price. The same price you would charge any company who wanted to sell your cure for the common cold. But it doesn't exactly work that way. It is, after all, your company. So, you know, you could license it on the cheap, so the income on royalties would be small. And so would your U.S. taxes. But remind me again, how is that legal? Welcome to strategy number two, long distance research and development. Most of your research was conducted in the United States. But at the last minute, your Netherlands team pays for a token amount of research. So it looks like we're both risking our resources on developing the drug, even if all of the research happens in the United States and just a little bit of it's paid for by the Netherlands. So now, you may legally sell the license for the drug to the Netherlands group at a discount, because they are sharing in your risk. So in the end, Almost all the costs of creating the cure for the common cold are assigned to your U.S. company, which deducts those costs from its U.S. taxes, further reducing its tax bill. And we're not done yet. We're not? No. Strategy three, move the manufacturing. The Netherlands was good for research and development, but not for manufacturing. Taxes on making things there are high. The Netherlands subsidiary will need another subsidiary. Singapore, perhaps. So Singapore is making the drug where costs are low, taxes are low, and profits are high. And they will sell the drug back to your parent company in the United States, who will sell it around the world. But because the license for the drug was held in the Netherlands, the profit stream remains there, taxed at just 5%. So even if half of your sales occur in the United States, how much of your profits will be on the books in the U.S. to be taxed? Only about 10%. But we're not quite finished. Finally, you may deduct 35% of the costs of all of this business, the Netherlands operation, the Singapore operation, and your accounting team, as a cost of doing business. How much? 35%. So, when you add that up with all the other strategies we've used so far, your taxes for the new drug will be cut by two-thirds, as long as you leave the money outside the United States. And you might even say that the United States tax code encourages every one of these strategies. Even though the American corporate tax rate is 35%, nobody pays that.